growing up, you, you hear about VR and books and in sci-fi, and it's always it was kind of like this thing that was out there that wasn't really there yet, you know? And so when I put this on, I said, wow, this is actually really good. I said, this, I can use this in the classroom. Dude, I, I just got real excited. And I, I said, man, I got to show people this. I got to show people what I'm doing. And showed my, my building principal, a couple other teachers. And then about a month or two later, he was meeting with reps from the Department of Defense Education Association. And they, they provide money to schools based on the number of um, military families that the school serves. But some of that money was, was used to purchase a nine Oculus Quest headsets. Now you're asking me what can you do with it and like the whole Pandora's box is just opening. I'm talking through like a science lens, you know, if you're learning about plate tectonics or the weather or whatnot, like students can now kind of create their own environments fa fairly easily. You know, I'd like to form a cohort of teachers from different disciplines that would like to utilize this technology. Right. Guidance counselors, right? You want to do college visits, you can go to any university in the country and walk around campuses if you were actually there. I would just say you got, got to give it a chance. Um, at least with the VR tech, where we're constantly competing with students' attention. This is coming down the pipe one way or the other. We can decide to be the first ones to use it and pioneer, or we can read about someone else using it.